Hello everybody, welcome to That's Football, I'm Mark Goldbridge, by the skin of my teeth, I'm live. Ha 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 The joke's on me, because I didn't think I would be live in time. Hope you're all doing very well. Welcome to the Premier League weekend, uh, and uh, we are live with our first watch along. It's a big weekend, don't forget. Um, we're doing Arsenal at West Ham tomorrow, Man United at Villa tomorrow, and then the Super Bowl tomorrow night here, which we're really excited about. I've got some of my American sweets already. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. And I hope you're all doing all right. Uh, Dirk says you're a bit early. Skin of my teeth, mate. Skin of my teeth. But uh, we're good to go. And uh, I think it's going to be an interesting game. I really do. I think Man City are going to pound um, Everton like a, like a horny porn star. Um, I think I'd bench Paquetta and I'd, I'd, I'd start Palmer, to be honest. Mark, what are your thoughts on PFA Player of the Year at this point, says Joe? Well, what are your contenders? I've heard a good few contenders. Declan Rice has been mentioned. Rodri's obviously been mentioned. Mo Salah's been mentioned. Um, the exciting thing about PFA Player of the Year is that it's not really obvious at the moment, whereas I think in previous years you knew it was between one or two players. Last year we knew it was going to be Erling Haaland. Um... Somebody just meant Ben just said Foden there. Uh, Addy just said Ross Barkley. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's wide open at the moment. But I do quite like the fact that holding midfielders are getting a bit of glamour. And, uh, you know, I think Alexi McAllister at Liverpool's done a good job. I don't think he'd ever win it, but I do think he's, a, he's done a good job at Liverpool. I know some people disagree with me on that. Um, Foden down the left, that right hand side. Nice little ball. This should be a goal. Oh, wow. Wow. Really surprised from Nunez there. All he's got to do is cut this back and Erling Haaland's probably got a goal. It's a lovely pass by Foden. It's a good run by Nunez. Just cut it back. To be fair, Haaland should have held his run a little bit there as well. It's a long way to go for Everton here. I just can't. I can't see it. I mean, they've made a game of it. They've made a watch-along of it. Let's give them some credit here. <gasps> Good cross in the box. Oh, fuck off. Harrison. Take, where's your composure, mate? You're a Premier League footballer. It's not, it's not a good chance, but it's a half a chance. Cross comes in from Ashley Young. Calvert-Lewin goes for it. Drops to Harrison in the box and basically, I don't know what that is. Terrible technique. They're the sort of chances you've got to take though, aren't you? To have any hope they need to score at some point. Because there's no way Man City in 90... Here we go. Tarkovsky caught out. Pickford. <sighs> Alvarez could have got Haaland in one-on-one -on -one there. He's just not taking care of the ball well enough. We hardly had any of it, so I'd watch anything I could. I think, goal, what a block. You lot got into football because you can watch anything you want to watch. You've got great choice. So football's, um, I love football. What a, sh what, a ch what a block this is by Tarkovsky as well. Does hit him on the arm, but the arm's in at the chest. So, oh, what a goal. You know, what a fucking hit that is by Haaland. There it is. We've just been talking about his prolificness. He's absolutely battered the shit out of this with his right foot. Inevitability. Inevitable. But what a hit by Haaland. That is. It's just... It'd be heartbreaking for Everton, but they they have to keep the clean sheet. And you're never going to keep the clean sheet at the Etihad. I've been saying it all game. It's Nil-nil is not going to happen. You've got to have a goal threat. And defensively, I think Everton have done really, really well. But as Addy says, we all knew it was coming. The cross comes in, headed down. And you're never saving that. I mean, I think Pickford gets an arm on it, but it's just... On the bounce. Why is no one watching? It just absolutely volleys the crap out of it. You can't save it. There's too much power on it. He gets a hand on it, Pickford. But, yeah, you're not saving that. Um, captain in FPL. I'm sure everyone else has got it. 
20 minutes to go. Could be more goals now. Typical jinx bridge. Hey, it's not me. You lot were saying he hasn't scored since November. And I said, look, he's not been as prolific, but he's always going to score goals, isn't he? He'll win the golden boot. You're never going to keep a clean sheet at the Etihad. You've got to have more. And Calvert-Lewin's been absolute shit. And this is Everton's problem. They don't deserve to go down. Defensively, very, very good. Offensively, absolutely crap. They've got no... I mean, Ashley Young's playing right wing. It should be down bloody John Lewis with his family, you know, on a Saturday afternoon these days, having a coffee and buying a TV. Should be retired. I, I, I genuinely believe if Arsenal had Ollie Watkins up front, they'd have a very good chance of winning the league, but uh, they don't. I just tweet in there. I think Everton defensively have, have played so well, but Calvert Lewin is a. I mean, he's either injured or he's a disgrace to the shirt. I mean, it's just. I, I've, I've, I've not. You know, I've given him a lot of credit. He just doesn't look interested. Going to struggle to score goals. And this is a lovely ball. And it's Haaland up against Branthwaite. And he's barged him down. You've got to applaud it. De Bruyne assist points. Haaland second goal. He bullied. You know, we've said Branthwaite's had a good game. He's bullied him. He's bullied him there. Um... 2-0, game over. It was it was it was over at 1-0. Look, look at this pass by De Bruyne as well. The, the, the gap's there. He's in a 1v1 here, Branthwaite, and he's in trouble. He's absolutely bullied him to the ground. I mean, is there an element of a foul in it? Not for me. I think he I think he trips him up by accident. I think it's just a, a slip by Branthwaite. You're never gonna get a foul for that. It's just one of those comings together. But, uh, yeah, it's just... He's the best striker in the world, isn't he? He's the best striker. He's the best He's the best striker in the world. Grealish comes on now for, like, four minutes. Fucking hell. Is that what you are, mate? Have you just become a beer boy for Man City? I mean, what's happened to Jack Grealish? I guarantee if you sat him down privately and he was honest, he wouldn't say he was happy. He, I know he wanders in with beers and this, but fucking hell. A hundred million pound player, and he's basically a bit part for five minutes when the game's over. I thought he'd win his way back into the team. I thought when they won the treble, he was he was considered a first team player. Goal bridge. That's the end of the clip. I'm sure you enjoyed it. In fact, I bet that's the best clip you've ever watched. So there's no reason not to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so you never miss a clip again. In fact. Smash a like on the video because we all know only legends like videos and you are all legends. So please smash a like on the video and uh, we will see you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching as always.